Hello, viewers, and welcome to Al Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips, and Practical Tips. What I'm going to be sharing with you today is a nice example, this time of a low grade appendiceal mucinous neoplasm or known as lamin. So, this is a 37 year old female patient who presented with lower abdominal pain and on imaging was found to have an appendiceal mass. So, resection was performed. And from the scanning power, you can see how much the appendix is distended, is really large, and how much the lumen is really widened. And we're going to zoom in now with areas of emucin here and then the lining uh, uh, of the lesion. Now, it's very important, as I alluded to before, with the hamen, with the high-grade appendiceal emucin this neoplasm, to remember that with these neoplasms, the normal architecture of the appendix is completely lost. Lost, So we don't have uh, the crypts, we don't have the lymphoid follicles, we don't have really the very nice demarcation of the mucosa, submucosa, and so on. So zooming in into the area of a mucin here, as you can see, multinucleated giant cells in reaction to the mucin, and then lakes or pools of a mucin identified. Now, this is the lining uh, uh, from one uh, side of the appendix, and again, reminiscent of low-grade uh, tubular adenoma of the colon, for example. We have the hyalinization that is very characteristic in the wall, and uh, we have the absence of the lymphoid follicles, as should be seen in the normal appendix, or in the perhaps most important differential diagnosis, which is diverticulitis and the diverticulosis of the appendix, which might give some resemblance to the uh, mucinous neoplasm. However, the architecture in diverticulitis slash diverticulosis is usually a preserve. And then the P53, unlike the high-grade uh, mucinous neoplasm, it shows mosaic staining pattern. So this is non-mutant. Now, interestingly also, and as expected in a large number of these uh, tumors, the omentum was involved with lakes of mucin. But remember that you have always to go and look for the presence or absence of epithelium because uh, this really would affect the staging of the disease. And on high power magnification, as you can see, strips of epithelium. What is really important to identify or to note is that usually the epithelium shows very bland uh, looking appearance, very low grade morphology, that because uh, of this low grade morphology and because of the pools and lakes of a new sun, sometimes this might be actually missed. Another focus showing this very nice lining of uh, um, a gland or um, a strip of epithelium lining the parts of the fibrous tissue in the omentum again, and then we have the lakes of emucin identified. So to put it up together all, the, the final diagnosis would be consistent with low-grade appendiceal emucinous neoplasm or lamin. And the stage, remember that regardless of the presence or absence of extravasated mucin into the peritoneum or the omentum, the stage of the tumor usually because it's confined to the mucosa is PTIS. And then because of the presence of the mucin in the omentum, this would be a, a consistent with M. So this is M1. If the uh, mucin lakes are acellular, this would be considered M1A. If it contains cells light in this case, this is considered to be M1B. Very important uh, a note that I should add here that those patients uh, uh, really are treated with chemotherapy, but in surgery chemotherapy, but importantly nowadays with high PEG, and this is associated with excellent outcomes. So rendering the proper diagnosis, identification of the source of the mucinous peritoneum, mucinous uh, infiltrate in, in the omentum is extremely important because if the source is from the appendix, the treatment with Hypex is associated with excellent outcome. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.